The Irish coffee is pretty simple and delicious, just coffee, whiskey, sugar, and cream. The story goes it was invented by a chef at a restaurant in what would become the Shannon Airport in Ireland, then made its way to the US by way of San Francisco. Today we're going to be making three versions of this drink, and I am super excited to be partnered with Trade, who provided the coffee. Now I'm from Seattle, so coffee basically flows through my veins, and I just am in love with the taste and actually the ritual of creating the coffee itself. Trade is this great service that automatically finds the best coffees in the country, specifically for you based on the results of your quiz. Trade then delivers that right to your door as often as you need, and your coffee will only be roasted after you place your order, meaning it's going to be the freshest coffee you've ever tasted. Trade is giving the first 100 people who click the link below 50% off your first hookup order with free shipping. Just click the link in the description below and use my code COCKTAIL. I matched with this Guatemalan coffee that smells unbelievable. But let's get on with making the cocktail. Now first we need our coffee. Uh, I'm more of a pour over coffee kind of guy and it can take a little bit longer but I'll quickly show you how I make it. But use whatever method you like. I usually do one scoop of beans per serving and I like to fresh grind the beans as well. I think it gives a much better flavor. Add a paper filter into your dripper, pour some hot water onto it, dump that water and then we're gonna add in the fresh ground beans and here's our new coffee cam. Start to pour in water that is just under boiling temperature, and you're looking to sort of stir the coffee with that water stream. And you're also looking for that bloom effect with the gas escaping. Let that steep for about a minute, and then I use this clever dripper which releases the coffee once you put it on top of the mug. And just a quick taste test, yeah that's pretty awesome. Full bodied, smooth, let's get some whiskey in this bad boy. The inventor of the Irish coffee made his way to the Buena Vista in San Francisco, and so we're gonna make the recipe still serve there to this day. And they use what's called a Georgian Irish coffee glass, and so we're gonna start by adding some hot water and discarding it to heat up the glass. And for our sweetness, we're gonna drop two sugar cubes into the bottom of the glass, and then pour in your coffee about three-fourths of the way up. Then give that a little stir to dissolve the sugar, and then we need our whiskey. Now use whatever whiskey you like as long as it's Irish. The Buena Vista uses Tullamore Dew, which I couldn't find, so I'm using this Red Breast. Add an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now to make our whipped cream, we need to just lightly whip some heavy cream. I'm going to use a hand mixer here, but you can use whatever technique you like. The key is not to sweeten it. You don't want to over whip it, you should still be able to freely pour it like this, and then you're just going to want to layer it on top of the coffee using a spoon. All right, enough of that jibber-jabber. Let's get my mustache in this thing, and yeah, that is awesome. The coffee is bold, the whiskey is smooth, not too sweet, and that cream is perfect. At this point, I'm realizing it's almost 10 p.m., and I've got two more of these to go, so uh, goodbye sleep. But now we're switching coasts to make the famous Irish coffee from the Dead Rabbit in New York City. Now, they typically use that same Georgian-style Irish coffee glass, but we're going to mix it up here, and same as last time, we're going to pour in some hot water and discard to get that glass nice and hot. We're going to start by adding 4 ounces, or about 120 mils, of hot coffee. And then, instead of sugar cubes, we're going to make a rich demerara syrup, which is 2 parts demerara sugar to 1 part water by weight. We're going to add in a little more than a half ounce, or about 20 mils, to the glass. And again, one and a half ounces or 45 mils of the Irish whiskey. The Dead Rabbit uses Clontarf, which I was also not able to locate. Give that a little stir to mix it all together, and now I'm going to show you another technique for getting that lightly whipped cream if you don't have a hand mixer. You can really just use your shaker tins. So just pour some cream into the shaker tin and shake vigorously for about 15 seconds or so. The cream should just flow right out of the shaker tin like this, and now I realize I'm saying shaker tin way too much and it sounds ridiculous. Anyway, use a spoon to help you layer the cream on top, and let's give this a taste. Okay, this one is also fantastic. Uh, I think I need to do a side-by-side -side comparison to get a final verdict here. Alright, the biggest coastal rivalry since Tupac and Biggie, we got West Coast's Buena Vista Irish coffee first up, and it's really nice. The cream started to incorporate in the drink, but let's now compare it against the Dead Rabbit version, and honestly, this is the one for me. It just feels like the right ratio of ingredients, and the caramel flavor of that Demerara syrup is awesome. Alright, now for those of you on the other side of the equator, we're now going to try to recreate the famous frozen Irish coffee from the Aaron Rose Bar in New Orleans. We're going to start by taking some cold black coffee and add 2 ounces or 60 mils into a blender. 
Then take your favorite coffee liqueur, here I'm using one from Leopold Brothers, and we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils. All right, now here's a plot twist. Aaron Rose actually uses brandy instead of Irish whiskey. So here I'm gonna use an Armagnac, and we're gonna add one ounce or 30 mils. Next, we need some vanilla ice cream. We're aiming for about one third cup, but just go for a large scoop and uh, maybe a little bit more, perfect. And we're gonna finish by adding four ice cubes to the blender, blend it on high, and we're shooting for sort of a milkshake consistency here. Pour the whole thing into a Collins glass, carefully, and then using your fine mesh strainer, dust a little bit of coffee grounds over the top like this. You can leave the straws at the door because we're using a sippy cylinder here, and let's see how we did. With that Armagnac, this is kind of technically a frozen Franco-Irish coffee, but honestly, this is unbelievable. It's super refreshing, actually not as sweet as I would have expected. On a hot muggy day, I could sip on these all afternoon. Thanks for watching, guys, and a big thanks again to Trade for sponsoring this video. Again, Trade is giving the first 100 people who click the link below 50% off your first hookup order with free shipping. Just click the link on the screen or in the description below and use my code COCKTAIL. Cheers!